Okay. How about a skit about the president? I mean, he's a joke in himself. Do Australians even know who he is? Yeah, maybe not. Oh, did you get the name of their president? A uh, prime minister. Like, I asked a guy at the bar, but he says it changes week to week. Well, that sounds like an odd system. Okay, so maybe not politics. Uh, we, we could do the one about the rabbi walking into a bar. And he wouldn't fly halfway across the world just to rehash the same damn material. This stuff didn't work in LA. Why would it work here? And we need something locals are gonna get. Like what? I don't know, I don't even know where we are. <laughs> Margaret River? Western Australia? Who's Margaret? How should I know? It's probably some Australian sports star. Probably sports mad, these Australians. Yeah. Well, I'm so confused. We left LA on Tuesday, we got here on Thursday. I swear, Marty McFly made time travel look a lot more appealing than this. Come on, <laughs> concentrate. The regional tour starts Monday, and we gotta get some killer material. Uh, we're doing what they call the Southwest. So we're starting here in Margaret River, and then we're going to Yawling Up, uh, Nain Up, um, Balling Up, and Manjime Up. Wait, I thought you said we were going south. We are. <laughs> so why does everything end in Up? Search me. Cogen Up. Tarambella? Ongara. Is this a national rule? Why isn't this place called Margaret Up? <sighs> Will you stop? <laughs> Look, I mean, uh, think about some of our places back home. Um, there's Sandown. <laughs> Su Sundown, yeah. Uh, Downey. Uh, down is Grove. Uh, they're all north. So up is down. <laughs> down is up. Does that mean downtown LA is in the middle of the south of North America. <laughs> anyway, do you want another beer? Mm. I do. They're so cheap here. Top me up. My enough. Show up? Mo bro. Parangora? Batter up. <laughs> Feel her up. <laughs> Keep it up. Beer me up, Scott. <laughs> so uh, the bartender, he was saying that the Southwest is home to some of the world's best breweries and wineries. Maybe we could do a play on words like uh, wine, W-I-N-E, and wine, W-H-I-N-E. Wind up. Eh. Oh, okay, uh, Australian beer sayings. Let's start there. Drink up. Ooh, that's a good one. Bottoms up. <laughs> Even better. Piss up. That's a bit crass, isn't it? We are in wine country, remember? They're a bit uptight, aren't they? They could afford to loosen up. <laughs> come on, we gotta come up with something classy. Come up with. Come up with. You're up to something. That's a good pickup. I'm just trying to come up with a setup for our stand up. Maybe a good idea will just pop up. We just need a good start. That's up to you. Shut up! That's up your ass! That's it, no more ups. I don't want to hear the word up again. We at least need a strong opening for the show. We could do an inspirational video. Like the start of that uh, animated movie. What was it? With the old dude and the balloon. Oh, oh! <laughs> Okay, so, um, Australians drink a lot of beer. Hey, who doesn't? Well, yeah, but think about it. I mean, who can rival us Americans when it comes to drinking? The Irish. Well, yeah. The Germans. <laughs> the Italians. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But the Australians, too. Got it. We do a skit on the Australian hangover. <laughs> the, you got the hiccups or something? Something like that. <laughs> So I've done my homework. I didn't 
I watched a YouTube video. <laughs> Australians say some weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Too easy. Dunno. Tomato sauce. I mean, what the hell is tomato sauce? Ooh, ketchup. <laughs> I hate you. All right, I'm done. We'll do it again. We gotta get some good stuff down. How about some inspirational music? Do you get the juices flowing? You know. Oh, yeah. What's that Josh Groban song you like? You. Uh, you raise me up. <sighs> I hate you. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm done. I promise. I promise. <gasps> I do have something. Hmm? We can compare the Australian drinking culture to the Irish, since they're so similar. Right? Fosters, the Guinness of Australia. <laughs> Australians don't drink Fosters. It's only for the tourists, apparently. Well, what the hell are we drinking? I don't know. Kangaroo bitter or something. Some native animal. That explains the funny look I get when I ask for another round of Fosters. All I got is some stories from home and then crack wise about the difference between Australian and American language and I don't know if this stuff is any good. Where are the bar right now. Why don't we try some of the stuff out on the locals? You know, test the waters. You know, that's not a bad idea. I mean, Australian humor can't be that different, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Uh, my name is Eddie, and this is my friend. Well, this is TJ, and uh, we're comedians from LA. We're uh, starting a regional tour in a few days, and we just thought we'd try some material out on the locals. Yeah. Is that cool? Hunky dory. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think they know what hunky dory means. Might have to speak Australian. Oh, uh, uh, uh g'day, you dingoes. <laughs> we um we rode a kangaroo all the way from LA. Um, I know why you call this place wine country, because that's all we've heard since they got here. I know why all your town names end in up too, because you're all up yourselves. Yeah, up yours, mate. Yeah, up yours too, buddy. Hey, get me. Who do you think you are saying to me? I'm on a stage. Who are you? Well, that could have gone worse. How? How could that have possibly gone worse? Bottle could have hit you. Good reflexes, by the way. Man, Australians take drinking seriously. Last call when it was like a stampede. That dude's got three beers over there. And he's got them all stacked on top of each other. I admire the commitment. Well, I'm beat. I think it's time we call it a night. Let's just pay our tab and head to bed. I've um, only got this red bill, um, $20. Uh, you said it was like we were up to about 50 US, and the exchange rate's about half, so if you give me five, we should be all square. Yeah, um, I think I actually added it up wrong. Um, <laughs> jet lag and beer's getting to me. Um, I felt the straight straight down. What? <laughs> it goes. Oh, are you saying that we owe hundred dollars? <laughs> now you're gonna laugh. Um, I've been having it every time when I should have been doubling it, so... Um, what? <laughs> we owe two hundred dollars. Jesus Christ, we don't have that kind of money! We haven't even done a gig yet! I know, God! What are we gonna do? Don't panic! Think, just... Just think, we can... Uh... Oh, I got it! Uh, we can negotiate with the bar manager. We'll offer to do a show tomorrow night. They'll, they'll get some extra punters in. We'll get a test out material. Everyone wins. I'll go see what I can swing it, and you come up with something fast. Hey, uh, a guy walks into a bar. <laughs> and Irish, an Australian, 
and the prime minister walk into a bar. The, the Irishman asks, um, who is this bloke? And the Australian says, I thought he was with you. <laughs> okay, I've, um, I fixed it. Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Well, we have to do more than one show. Okay, two nights isn't that bad. Actually, it's three nights. For $200, that's a bit much. And three lunchtime slots. Is this place still run by convicts? Criminal. And hand out 500 flyers tomorrow. Seriously? You are the worst negotiator in history. If you ever have to talk some guy off a ledge, might as well get a muffin bucket to clean up the mess. I did get us free drinks though. Plus, it'll give us a chance to get our head around the Aussie sense of humor and test out our material. You had me at free drinks. Live the dream! Hey, and we even get our names on the chalkboard out front. Speaking of names, we need to have one for the act. Oh, yeah. Oh, how about taking the piss? What the hell does taking the piss even mean? That sounds like a bad bathroom experience. I don't know, it's what the manager said when I suggested he pay us on top of the 200. You got any better ideas? How about this way up? 